I love this Magellan Focus Lux laser wrap. At first I thought, wow, that's really expensive for what it is, but let me tell you why I've been using it every single day, every night before I go to bed, and how it's been helping me, and why I think it is worth the price. The reason why it's so expensive is because it's laser and red light. So you're paying more for the laser, which just penetrates so much deeper. The way that I use it is I wrap it around my hand. I had a broken wrist here and I had surgery on it. There's a plate in there. And so when that happened, the doctors told me that you're gonna have arthritis. And here I am at the stage with arthritis. So any um, overextended time keyboarding or knitting really bothers my hands. So by the end of the day, my hands hurt and my wrists hurt. So I start here, I wrap it like that around and then it's so easy to use because it's just got this Velcro and you sit it on your wrist like that. So that's how I'm using it. There's so many use case scenarios and I'll go through them. But I wear it for 20 minutes on one hand and then 20 minutes on the other hand and it really helps my uh, the pain in my hands and it means that I can do still, still do things that I love like knitting and still earn money by working by working on a laptop so those two things are important to me okay this one has 64 lights on it which includes 660 nanometers of red light which stays on the surface of your skin which is why I'm really noticing because I use it every day that my hands are looking younger the cell turnover is faster on my hands. I've got good collagen production on my hands now. And I, like, I'm 50, almost 53, and there are no age spots on that. So I feel like that's a side effect that I'm kind of surprised about. It uses VCSEL technology, which is the lasers which penetrate a lot deeper into the tissues, into the cells, into the joints, into the bones and you can even wear this on your head and it will reach your brain so this convenient design means that you can wrap it around wherever you want it even has extenders so if you want to wrap it around your low back for example or if you have digestive issues you can add these extenders and there's a super long one as well that you can add and it means that it's you can wrap it around your shoulders, you can wrap it around your waist, you can wrap it around your joints. I love it around my knee as well because I walk a lot and I lift weights and sometimes my knee bothers me and I often wrap it around my knee as well. Um, my husband has an Achilles injury and he wraps it around his ankle because the lasers penetrate deeper. Not only do they penetrate deeper, but they are more focused. So you can see right now that the light on this there can you see that the red light is going to the one that's visible to the naked eye is going to be more effusive is that the right word like it's spread out evenly on your skin but then the lasers are going to be more targeted and go deeper into your body so let's go over what each of the lights does the 660 nanometers stays at the surface of your skin it improves collagen production cell turnover and it improves the health and look of the skin that's why i can say that my hands are looking nicer than they have in ages when we go to 850 nanometers that light is not visible to the naked eye but it goes deeper it's going to go to a mid level compared to the lasers and then it's going to get more into those tissues and then we've got the laser which goes to the deepest level and it's very targeted, so it's great for targeted care. The 1064 nanometers has been studied to work as transcranial light. That means it can help to support mood, brain injuries, stroke recovery. So this is designed and often marketed to penetrate to the layers of your brain for brain health. And ironically, I forgot to tell you that it also helps with memory. <laughs> Of course I forgot that. <laughs> so this VCSEL technology with the targeted 1064 nanometers laser, it's really good for nerve damage, 
for deep tissue and for brain health. So there are three different modes in this. There's continuous mode, which is on right now. And this one helps to reduce pain, boost circulation and speed up muscle recovery. I can turn it to 10 Hertz and this helps to calm the nervous system, relieve stress and improve sleep. And then it's the 40 Hertz mode. This one, it's pulsing still there. You can see it. Um, it supports memory, focus and brain health by enhancing brain activity. It comes with two USB-C to USB-A cables and it's nice to have a second one. You just plug it in here to the USB-C and then the USB-A goes into the charging brick which they provide as well. So the nice thing about these cords is that you could have one set up at just a charging station, the other one set up wherever you use it most so that if it runs, when, if, when it runs out of power, um, I find it lasts about two 20 minute sessions. So when it runs out of power and you want to move like, so for example, for me, from my wrists to my knees, then you could plug it in and still be able to use it. So it takes two to two and a half hours to charge. It holds a 45 minute charge. And I think that what's really interesting about this is that you can see it's just designed for convenience, right? You can wrap it around you, but there's no big battery pack, which means that it does last 45 minutes, but then you do need to charge it. But I will take that convenience over having a big battery pack on it that might last longer. So you can use it wrapped around your head like this for migraines and headaches. The photobiomodulation can help calm the trigeminal nerve pathways, reduce neural inflammation and improve blood flow. You can use it on the continuous setting in this one or 10 Hertz. 40 Hertz could be a little risky for light sensitive migraine types. If you have stress, anxiety or sleep problems, the 10 Hertz pulsing overlaps with the alpha brain rhythms linked to calm and relaxation. So it may help to downregulate stress and support sleep on the 10 Hertz pulse. If you're looking for cognitive and memory support, then the 40 Hertz stimulation will entrain gamma oscillations, which are tied to memory, learning and focus. There's research in Alzheimer's and mild cognitive impairment suggesting promise in this. For people with traumatic brain injury or concussion recovery, the 1064 nanometers of near infrared light, the laser, has shown neuroprotective effects, reducing oxidative stress and supporting mitochondrial repair in neurons. So that one's a good one to do at continuous or 10 Hertz again. If you have mood disorders like depression or PTSD, the 10 Hertz transcranial near infrared light can normalize cortisol, reduce depressive like symptoms and support emotional regulation. So that one you wanna wear at 10 Hertz if you're dealing with depression or post-traumatic stress disorder. For aging and neurodegenerative conditions, there's early research in Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and dementia showing photobiomodulation at 40 Hertz supports synaptic plasticity and reduces amyloid in animal models. So 40 Hertz with careful titration, that means titration means just do a little bit, see how it works. And if it works, you can do a little bit more. So if you're interested in picking this up, if you feel like it would be a good fit for you, I have a link in the description box below and the pinned comment. And if you want 10% off, use the code MELISSA.